Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for um, Pisces for uh, March 2023. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, just a just a reminder: highest two highest viewed zodiac readings uh, for uh, this cycle. And I will give uh, those two zodiac readings a uh, extra, a big, big bonus read. All right, and those are those are much longer than these ones. They can run from thirty minutes to an hour, so just depending, right? All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. These are pre-shuffled. Let me get five cards for Pisces. Starting out here, Pisces for uh, March twenty twenty-three, Pisces. This one was first, second. Uh, how was that? Is that three? Oh, it is. One, two, three. I think that's how they were. They were more in the reversey. Bottom of the deck, seven of swords theft. Oh, shit. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what is happening here. Okay, the emperor. That's your energy, angel of wisdom. You may have had a, a, a theft and you may actually know who did it. Generosity. It could have been somebody that, that's close to you, a friend, a uh, vision, seven of pentacles, planting some seeds. Uh, this is somebody you may have planned to rob someone. You may know about them. Oh my gosh. You may have been very generous with that person and, and good with them. And they Angel of transformation, death, you know, yeah, there may be an ending. To, yeah, you're going to, oh my gosh, it's so just, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because it's kind of fucked up, but all right, this is what I'm feeling. It could be, you know, this is from what I see here. Uh, you're in the energy of the emperor, uh, angel of wisdom, you know, all right, whatever's going on here, you know, there's some, you were very generous. There was a situation where there was generosity that was handed to another person, just being real nice, be real generous. Somebody had a, a vision though. And I, I feel like somebody may have planned some sort of vision uh, of theft. That's what I'm feeling. And this is where the, the relationship ends. Angel of success ending to this uh, situation. Now, what type of theft or what situation took place for all this to happen, I don't know. So let's go ahead and grab uh, the Bicycle Prestige. This is Angel Tarot. You guys know that, right? I don't know. If not, that's what it is. Tell me about this Angel of Wisdom. What happened to this guy? This is for Pisces for uh, March 2023. Tell me about this Emperor. What happened to this person? Whoever this is, right? Whoever is resonating with whatever, whatever story. Emperor. What happened to this person? What was the story of this emperor? These cards are real uh, plastic. They're like full plastic cards. Okay, this one was first. So this emperor is trying to start something new in finances. Uh, they can't let go of something, though. They're being very stingy with the money. That's already the five of pentacles, and that could represent loss. So somebody may have to put some money into a business. You know, you got to put money in to make money. Somebody may have done that. Maybe they suffered some losses here and there. I don't know. Let me see. Let me get one more card. One more card, please, for Pisces. For March 2023. And then we have the Empress. Okay, so, you know, what's going on here is somebody wanted to start something new with somebody that they could not let go of. Right. They're thinking about an empress. Okay. Queen of Cups in this deck is the empress. All right. This is what somebody wanted. A new start with somebody that they can't, they just could not let go of, who is near and dear to their heart, close to them, which is this Queen of Cups. Now, what? Now, what? Now, that's his story. At the bottom of the deck, whoops, I put them in wrong. Hold on. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles working with others. So either, you know, this person is working with others or the other person is working with others, right? Six of pentacles, 
generosity. How generous was this situation? How generous was the situation? How generous was this situation? How generous was this situation? Sorry. How generous was this situation? How generous was this situation, please? All right. Someone someone was, you know, being generous with someone who was in and out, right? Like somebody could have been in and out of your life or whatever. They're not doing that anymore, right? Um, but you were generous with this person. And possibly you decided not to be, you know, that kind of in and out energy. Whoa. Oof, several. Uh, but there was no love. There was no love. Even though you did that, there was no love. Look, King of Cups in the reverse. Damn. No stability. Tower moments. Oh, karmic. All right. So you were involved with somebody who was a karmic. This person was there to teach you a lesson. This is 50-50. We don't know if it's new start and stability or not. I feel like it's not if you were dealing with a karmic, okay? This person here was only in your life to teach you a lesson, right? Somebody here also was giving more and the other person was taking more. Taking advantage mostly of the situation. The love was not really there. Like, you know, all of these came out reverse. The love was really not there. King of Cups in reverse, for sure. This could be somebody that sleeps around, too. So you could have been with someone like that. Male or female, doesn't matter. And then we have, uh, yeah, there was, this was not a stable relationship. There was no success. It was like tower, the tower moment came in. And, and the tower moment could have come in when you found out that this person is just a karmic. They're not like your true soulmate. They're the soulmate that's there to teach you a lesson. Not the one to um, to be that that number one, you know, whatever. You know, it's that's not, uh, no. Okay. Uh, that's just what the cards say in this story right here. Okay. So let's find out what the vision is, right? Somebody wanted to plant some seeds. Somebody wanted to have, you know, something good. Maybe you thought this was the one they claimed to be the one. They were the one, whatever. And you know, they weren't. You learned a lot from them though. Hopefully, hopefully you, you learned a lot, you know, I mean, that's, you know, Oh, so this is hard for you to let go. Look, oh my God, because you wanted the new start so badly. You were trying to plant some seeds uh, somewhere. This was probably possibly, you know, you were with this Empress energy, whatever that was, you know. Any Anything else? I can't believe those two cards came out again. So you were, you were trying your hardest. You were, they were, somebody was, I don't know, you know. Yeah, look, you, you know, this energy is good loving this one right here it was no love there so you are probably the loving energy and this one who you're sharing with was not very loving like is much you know they don't they're not as loving as you you know what i'm saying um you are very into creating stability you were trying to do all that you know look at the bottom you took a leap of faith with this uh situation it was like you're like you know what? i'm just gonna jump into it and do it and you did it, but, you know, you, you did it with a, a karmic, it looks like. Someone who was just there to teach you something, you know. It sucks that we have to go through that, but, I mean, how else are we going to learn, right? And it could be embarrassing, depending on what things happen. But, like I said, how else are we going to learn? You know, just share your knowledge with others so it don't happen to them, but it, it most likely will. You know, or has already. Nobody is void from heartbreak and deception. And, you know, we we all go through it. Tell me about this death card. Whoa. So whatever that was. Whatever that was that you were holding close to your chest. You're worried that you're not going to be able to let it go. But you are. And you're going to heal from it too. Because it says death right here. You know. 
is going to end. You're going to transform into letting it go. That's basically, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to heal because this is seven pentacles right here. And that's the, the star card. Unless you're dealing with an uh, Aquarius. But I, I feel like when it comes to this ending, it's because you couldn't let it go. You're going to heal from that. It's going to take time. It's not going to, you know, you feel like, oh, I don't have any more options. Um, and, and you're being honest with yourself about that. But you know what? That's what you're, you think you're being honest with yourself, but you're not. You know, what this is, is, you know, self-sabotaging. Oh, I'm never going to find any, or, or uh, I can't stop the, you know, I mean, we all go through that. I've been through that shit too, you know, plenty of time. But, you know, like, but this seven of pentacles is the, is up right here for sure. Saying, look, you can let this go. Look, you know, you can be loving again. You can, find, but you know, right now you're probably going through something. That's why these cards are coming out like this. Cause somebody here is going through something. They're transformed. They're changed. You're becoming a different person. Uh, and you could be becoming a different person because you ended some situation also, uh, that too. Okay. Tell us about this angel of success though. And, and you know what? I think you're going to have success in ending whatever this was. You could have found out that somebody stole from you. You didn't know that. Maybe you didn't know. And it was somebody that you cared for. Could have found that out too. Okay. Oh, okay. So yes, yes. We know you're going to be sad over the loss of this relationship, but you are creating some sort of stability. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. problem is here there you might be undertaking some sort of toxic habits to try to drown your sorrows so that's something that you're going to need to watch out for we do have the card of capricorn it's also the devil right here uh, and you know this represents toxic uh things addictions codependencies whatever so if you have you know try not to steer yourself into that direction even though it shows that you are try not try not to it's not going to help the situation Four of Pentacles. 50% are going to be able to let this go. And 50% are not. It, but it's showing that all of y'all are going to be, um, you know, partaking in some sort of uh, toxic habit, toxic devil, you know, energy. Um because of this situation so so somebody here might have coping problems coping with stuff like they don't know how to cope so what do they do they go they do drugs they drink or they do toxic things you know even going out having a whole bunch of sex whatever it's like that you know whoops sorry you guys <laughs> i shook the whole trailer so it could be that but but somebody is just i think really upset because they see that somebody somebody may have stolen from another person and 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 you know it's, it shows theft right there you know usually it's just deception but in this deck because i was drawn to grab it you know for you specifically somebody may have stolen from you now this could be stolen time you know you stolen energy whatever stolen money property uh physical stuff it could be that too you know um notoriety whatever but somebody here definitely feels uh, you know, deceived like somebody stole from them. Okay. So yeah, don't forget, uh, you guys, uh, the two highest zodiac readings get that big fat juicy bonus read in the middle of the month. And um, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, it's Kyscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.